back with another daily cribbage. I thought we were getting a game there. But, welcome back. The game is cribbage and the goal is to learn something new. So, let's see if we can play our best against player 6211. And learn something that we didn't know before. Okay, we've got 8-2 Queen King for the different tens. So the things that stand out to me are either 9-2 or 9 King. I like 9 King, huh? And we'll just go with the Queen and see what they've got. Alright. Come up to they don't fear the Jack. Because they had only one jack, all right? Interesting. But the flush, they didn't mind either. Okay, plenty of points for our opponents. They jump up to 17, and we are stuck a little bit with four points, but we got a double run in hand, so let's go with that. We extend the double run, and we'll probably pair this eight because well, it's not very likely they have the last eight. Let's see what they've got at the end. A three. Okay. So the seven helps our opponent quite a lot there. They're up to 36 after two rounds, so high rolling quite a lot. But we're not doing too bad ourselves, especially now that we look down at a flush. I do like the look of that flush which also turns into a run as well. We've got a nine and nothing smaller than an eight. Do they have the triple? They don't have the triple there. Is that 11 for us? No, 13 because of the five jack. Takes us up to 42, which is quite close to 44, so we're not out of the runnings just yet. And, oh, okay. It's a nice looking flush in hand, actually. So we could normally do things like ace three, but I, I like the flush and we'll keep the nine, 10 together. And so we'll keep the five with the queen. We get an ace, which is helpful because we've got the three ace ace. And I will just go up to 14, and we'll happily pair an ace here. 6-4. Okay. What's this all about? I'm guessing they've got fives. Okay, yeah, seven and five, so fairly unfortunate. We had to give away so many points on the play, but make up a few points in our hand and only four in the crib. Normally we expect a bit more actually out of that, but okay. And here, I think we have to, do we have to start hoping for stuff? Would quite like an eight. Eight would be lovely. No eights, so we'll lead a nine. Nine leads are sort of interesting. Gotta go to eighteen. I see a four on top, so there are fewer fours. They do have okay, pair of aces. Hmm. Mm. That's a sort of similar number of points either way. Okay. 81, 62, starting to look a little bit difficult. Yeah, this is pretty hard. Oh well, here it comes. No, nope. no triple. A five? No. Okay. 10 points. Yeah, the four is quite unfortunate on top. It does give us some points for us though, which is nice. 
It's hard to keep the flush here, so we're going to go ace queen. Um, 12 points only takes us to 87. The fives on top is very good for our opponent. We'll go to 23. We'll try and draw out fives. Managed to dodge any traps, but only 88 here. Opponent needs to get sort of nothing over the next hand, two hands, in order for us to really catch up. And we need for our opponent to not trap us. Um, so the question is, do we go 210 or 2 king? The 10 leaves open more extensions. Oh, sorry, the king leaves open more extensions. So we'll go for that. We'll play a queen. 23, probably some eights here. Oh, okay. Five, seven, nine for our opponent is not the bad hand we were hoping for. Um, this is pretty much over unless we can score 18 points with our next hand and play. I've seen worse. I've seen a lot worse. I mean, we have some outs, right? That is one of them. Okay. So, right, we need to <laughs> play as cautiously and as safely as possible. Oh, no. Yeah, maybe we should have led the five. Ouch. Wow. Yeah, so in that final position, we have three, four, double, five. We hit the three on top, so that's a quadruple run for 16, and we have two lots of 15, six. Uh, three, three, four, five, twice. So we have 20 points in hand and we really need to avoid getting, um, giving up points on the play. Starting out with the four and our opponent pairing it was the worst thing that could happen after we lead a four. I was hoping the opponent would go to something like 14 and then we'll play the five for 19 and then if our opponent paired our five there, then we would be able to triple it and hopefully not give up, give up too much. But unfortunately, after they paired it, because the four was the middle card, we had to keep all the runs open. Well, that was that was tough. We got a, had a really good hand right at the end. We couldn't quite capitalize on it. Let's see. So what did they have in their hand? Just to give us some idea. Our opponent was holding on to 3, 4, 6, 8. Which plays pretty well against our hand. If we had led a 5. Then I assume our opponent wants to go to 13 with the, uh, with the 8. Or they could play the 4 because they don't really mind giving up many points on the play. They're going to, on average, well, the hands that are really strong for us don't make 18 points. The strong hands, um, the majority of strong hands are only making 12 points, so there's a little bit of wiggle room for our opponent on the play. They would imagine that the hands that they're trying to beat are... The ones that are likely to... Well, is our hand one that they're trying to beat? Potentially. Maybe we're in the danger zone. Yeah. Overall, how did everything go? Well, we lost a lot of points on the play. A um, couple points in hand and a few points on the crib. So, a tough game. But not without our chances. And we had the opportunity to to claw something back at the end, but we didn't quite do it. So a lesson for next time is probably lead your five in that particular situation. All right, that was a, that was a fun game and I will see you next time.